Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to find out everything new in a new release of Tableau. Now, this might seem obvious because of course, Tableau have this marketing page here that goes through all the new features, um, but there's always a small detail here, which is it doesn't show absolutely everything that's changed as well as what's new in the current version of Tableau. So I thought I'd just make a very quick video on how to do exactly that. So over here, you can see I'm on the release page. And if I go down, you'll see there's a sort of a list of headline features. There's also a list of things that, you know, resources that they've got available for you to go check out some of those new features. And then you have uh, a bunch of items here. Now, if I go through this list and I specifically say pick a uh, Tableau server, in this particular list, you'll see everything new with Tableau server. And the thing I'm looking for here is something called zero downtime licensing, which I know is new in 2021.1, but isn't necessarily on this list. Now, if I go through this list, um, I can obviously go here to new product activation and you see they talk about something called server auto authorization to run. But this isn't actually what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something called zero downtime licensing. So you're probably wondering, well, Tim, how do you know that that's in this release? And so there's actually a, a sort of a, a not well known page. And that is actually in the documentation itself. If you go to the documentation for any version of Tableau, it tells you what's new right at the top of the list. So I'll show you how to find that. I've actually got these two pages open here. This is the one for Tableau desktop and authoring in general across Tableau prep online and server. But then you've also got this this page, which is just for Tableau Server, which is specific for on-premise versions of Tableau Server. So how do you get to these pages? Well, the biggest clue here is in this URL here. You can just see here at the top, I've got this sort of little breadcrumb here. And in this breadcrumb, in all the Tableau Server versions, they have this hierarchy that tells you what's new right at the top. So how do you get to this page? Well, first of all, you have to be familiar with the Tableau website. So let's go to the Tableau uh, website and uh, let's not go to my own website. Let's go to the Tableau website. Um, if I can actually type it, tableau.com. Um, obviously go to my own website more than I go to the Tableau website. Uh, but if you go here, you'll see there's a nice little link um, showing us what's going on. Let's just go to the uh, just the, the, the actual homepage here and you'll see here that we find um, basically the homepage. And if I go to support, um, if I go to products here, you'll see there's a bunch of things. Now, something I don't like that they've done is they've sort of buried the support. The support used to be up here at the top, but it's now a little bit buried. If you go down here to support, you go to this page and it has a bunch of resources and information. If you scroll down and keep scrolling down, you'll see that you have a bunch of other support links. Go to the version that you want. Let's say I want to go to Tableau Desktop. You'll see you arrive at this page, which is a little bit more detailed and a little bit more thorough. Has some getting started questions, but actually one of the things you want is the manuals and the guides. So I just go over here to the see all option. And now we're sort of in this Easter egg hunt, uh, very topical for this time of the year. And now we've got to this page, which again asks us what products we want to use. Now, the key thing is you want to make sure that you select your version here on the left hand side. You can actually go back in time and look at the manuals for all the previous versions, which is actually a really, really nice thing, especially if you're using an older version, maybe even up to version 10.5. But I got to tell you, Tableau don't even support that version of Tableau anymore. So if you're still on that, definitely get an upgrade plan soon. So anyway, um, you'll see here that you've got different versions. Now, once you've got the right versions, we're on the current version, you wanna select the, the most recent sort of list here. And so you can see here, you get this additional menu. And in this menu, you have this what's new link. And when you hit that, you actually go to this list. And this list is the full list of everything that's been updated. And at the very, very, very bottom, if I go right down to the bottom, I don't know why this is buried so far. This is sort of where sometimes they bury bad news like uh, things that have been depreciated. Sometimes you see things that have been changed in that version. So sometimes this will include things like, um, you know, not supporting a certain driver or not doing something by standard. But in this particular desktop version, there isn't anything. If I go back here and I go to the Tableau server version, let's just go here to Tableau server on Windows as an example. You'll see there's another what's new link. Click on that and then you'll see this is a specifically everything new in Tableau server for this release 2021.1. And you can see this list is actually quite long and you know i've got to be honest it's probably a good reason that these server features made it into the marketing on uh, this page that i started with because they're not exactly 
and the most thrilling of features to talk about. But you can see here right at the top is the one that I was talking about, zero downtime licensing. And that's how I know that zero downtime licensing has been added to 2021.1. Now, another thing to be aware of is right at the bottom of this, they have this sort of, I think this is a cheeky section called change in 2021.1. And um, <laughs> if you don't scroll to the bottom, you won't realize, for example, that the behavior in certain things in Tableau Server has changed. And now listen, you don't need to be well versed in this stuff. Um, but if it's something that's business critical, I think backups is something that's business critical. And I think you just do need to be aware that there's a, there's a change here. There's something subtle. And normally, if the change is substantial, they'll let you know up front. But again, if you have some sort of weird behavior that's doing something, maybe the backup's taking a little less time, a little longer, you just want to know why is that? And this might have sort of uh, the, the explanation and the reason for that. So this is just a nice place to come to. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's new SAML configuration keys. I mean, I don't understand half this stuff, but you know, every so often you'll get a support ticket. And if you check this page, you'll just realize that oh, actually that's why it's different because something has changed here and you can fix these problems very, very quickly. Okay. So that's basically how to find out what's new in every single version of Tableau, going all the way back to version 10.4. It's a bit of an Easter egg hunt, I admit that, uh, but if you now know where it is, hopefully you'll be able to find out everything new in every release um, with each version. Um, now, there are also some cases where features do get released, but they're not documented anywhere in the documentation. And that is sort of uh, sort of an edge case. Essentially what Tableau will do is if they would like you to test that, they will send you the documentation links themselves that just won't appear in this documentation. So uh, sometimes sort of features get sort of released quietly, essentially, um, to customers to test them, to make sure they're stable and rigid enough for you know everyday enterprise use. And then in the subsequent release, they'll sort of publicize that this has been added to the version formally, if that makes sense. So that's how to find out everything new in a Tableau release. I just thought I'd do that video because it's taking a while to sort of crunch through uh, the 2021 stuff. A lot of it is generally server related and I'm still spending time trying to figure out Einstein analytics. Um, it's gonna take me a while a little bit. So whilst that's happening, I thought I'd give you a resource so you can go and find out uh, some of the information for yourself so you're not kept waiting for a video on the topics. But of course, we will get to videos on all of these things. This year, I'm making the pledge to do videos on all the Tableau server releases. That's something that everyone has been asking for. So I am going to be spending some time doing a dedicated video on everything new on Tableau Server in 2021. So stay tuned for that in the next couple of weeks. It will take time to get through, but unfortunately that's just the nature of how this release has gone with the lack of a beta, okay? So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, stay tuned and I'll catch you soon.